Hi Aries, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. Um, it's going to be titled, What the Soulmate Wants to Say to You. So your soulmate or your significant other or whomever you're coming to the reading for, what they want to say to you. Let's see what's going on. Okay, what do they want to say to you? All right, we got three cards. They want to say yes. Meditation brings answers. And if you believe, trust. They want you maybe to trust them or trust the situation. Trust the process. Choose a new direction. That's what they want you to do. Wow, a double yes. Another yes under the deck here. So let's go ahead and clarify what your soulmate wants to say to you. Um, th what is this yes answer? Okay, that card wanted to come out. The world, yes, the cycle is closed. It could be a 21-year cycle, a year cycle, anything, a seven-year cycle. But they have come into enlightenment about a situation, into maturity about maybe a situation that involves you. You could be dealing with a fixed sign. Uh, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus. They just want you to know that something is closed out seven of wands they're no longer either fighting for it or they're not they're not warding it off some relationship some business contract or marriage they understand that they should be further along in a connection they're no longer i'm hearing um fighting for Fighting against the change, against, wow, 777. Seven, seven. You could be dealing with a cancer. You could be, this is very lucky. They want you to understand, yes, it's over. They're, they're making secret plans to move away from a marriage, a contract, a relationship. How they're coming off to other people is being very contemplative, I guess, um, very standoffish very defensive in whatever stance that they've taken very secretive about whatever it is they're doing okay uh, so that's good trust give me one card for trust aries your person wants you to trust that they're making long-term plans to come towards you so that you guys can build or rebuild or start a life together uh, it's just about leaving one connection going to another that all of this that you've done together is not for for nothing it's not for just for shit you look the moon there may be some things that are not revealed to them yet or revealed to you they're keeping some things under wrap maybe in regards to how they feel about you or about the connection if this is a divorce sometimes people say divorce feels like a death this is um it could be cancer pisces scorpio you're dealing with this is someone who says they don't have any confidence in forward movement five of pentacle that this relationship is going to move forward this marriage is going to move forward uh, that this long-standing connection is going to move forward. Um, they know there's some deep reservations about a love affair, also uh, about the romance here. They want you to trust that everything that you guys have is real, was real. Uh, choose a new direction. Ace of Wands. They want you to either, yeah, wow. Aries, they want you to have motivation in regards to have some passion and enthusiasm, motivation to helping this change along, helping this transition along. Focus on what they've told you. Focus, focus, focus in order to see it through. Don't let friends or negativity or outside influence uh, rattle you or, or make you unstable or make you have inner conflict within yourself okay so this other yes what is this yes for Aries your soulmate wants you to know Aries what's this yes to a one that they're making they're making strides to toward you toward this partnership toward this new partnership 
They're, they are completely transforming, changing their life. They have taken or they will take a new position here. And it, it very well could be with you. Um, it could be a King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Typically, that's Scorpio or Pisces. They may be reserving themselves in their emotions. They, they're very emotionally balanced. Um, they have mastered their emotions. You may be trying to understand where they are by way of what they say or how they they feel towards you or some outward pour of emotion. But what they're saying is, look, yes, I'm making strides to come towards you, Aries. I may not be, you know, showing my whole hand in regards to my emotions, but I do love you. This is a challenging new start for me because I may have to cut off something or someone or some relationship or some marriage. But we will have the new start, okay? Wow, we will have a relationship. We will have a four of wands. We are twin flames, soulmates, whatever. Uh, wow, I do want you as my wife. You are above every other woman. Um, we will have an abundant life. We will have an abundant relationship. It's going to start well and it's going to end well. We just have to make sure we start on the right foot. Wow, they see you as the quintessential ideal wife good with money good with your resources material possessions you make good strategic uh, plans they see this new relationship new friendship with you wow aries as something positive that can bring them a lot of happiness and contentment this is what your soulmate is saying to you that is absolutely gorgeous your advice uh, in regards to what you should be dealing with or or focused on right now while your soulmate makes necessary changes because it looks like they are is this you should be dealing with this let's see what's going on okay all right oh this is really good Oh, wow. Okay. So we're going to go over to the website and really drill down on this and talk about what you should be focused on so that you can be a complete and whole person uh, in regards to uh, this relationship. Okay. And some focus that will keep you not focused on maybe the negative or what you don't want. Also, keep in mind what you think you can have you can manifest that's how that's how things manifest at first that you thought you think those things thoughts the magician has the idea then it's about putting everything together and then being the high priestess and planning right and then you start doing as the empress and, and start moving and shifting so keep in mind that the magician you can make things happen with your mind so make sure your mind is right okay so you can make good things happen, bad things happen. Be a good magician. Be um, think positive thoughts. Okay. All right. So let's um, go over to the website and see what this is all about. It looks really, really good. Oh, I forgot the shelves. Let's see what else your soulmate wants to tell you, Aries. This is Sun Moon Rising, Aries. All right. They have a message that they want to give you about kids. Um, about what they hate maybe someone has mental issues so oh crazy so maybe someone's outright crazy they're trying to be smart about something so they need you to stop okay you need to stop worrying stop not trusting and um, they're trying to make smart decisions around um, everyone involved there may be children involved they want to give you a message about maybe their children they might hate someone that has mental issues and who's crazy. And hopefully that's not you, Aries. Okay. All right. They need you to stop. Just stop whatever it is you're doing. This, you, you did have to choose a new direction. Just stop it. All right. So let's go over to the website and see what this is all about. Thank you, Aries. The link is below for the extended read. So we're going to drill down on these cards. Um, 
it's always three dollars to get the extended read if you feel like this is a good investment this is happening for you you don't want to get a full on read take advantage of the extended reading all right thank you aries take care many blessings